Happy October 31st, everybody. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party fought and defeated three feral critters who were attacking one of the gates at Crownspire. The gate guards asked us to go warn the royal guard at the castle, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Thank the leaves you've returned, says Master Laurel. The situation is growing dire. We could use a ray of hope. Please tell us, have you procured the seed? Master Laurel Driftfur, his arm still cradled in a sling, appears otherwise back to his usual self. We're going to do two things in order. Discuss events and make a plan. I've been forgetting to look for hidden icons. I don't see one on this page. I did miss one on the previous page, but that's okay. Um, let's see what we've got here. One, discuss the events. All right, we have, a, we have some reading to do. Relief floods their eyes as you produce the seed of life and hand it to them. Despite her injuries, Captain Flint Clawthorn is determined to serve in her duties. I think this is Master Laurel talking. She continues to command the royal guards even while limping on a crutch. There is an overwhelming amount to be done and not enough pause to do it. Captain Flint sighs, the weight of the world pressing upon her shoulders. If these dreadful critter transformations persist, we will require additional security within the city. However, our troops remain preoccupied with preparations for the impending war. The decision to split our forces weighs heavily on us. I wish the queen were here to guide and lead us. She would know precisely what to do. Master Laurel's expression grows somber. The vigils for our beloved queen persist unabated. Critters from neighboring cities, Woodland Springs, the Borough, Long Watch, and Harkin Run have traveled to join in these fervent prayers. Yet, her condition shows no sign of improvement despite the tireless efforts of our doctors. Master Laurel pauses, the urgency of the situation evident in his eyes. In the throne room and the soil for the new seed have been meticulously prepared, though it pains us that the queen may not be present for the ceremony. Nevertheless, this matter cannot be delayed. We've, um, and now Captain Flint is talking. We've been unable to remove the encasing that imprisons Wraithex's statue atop the spire. Other pressing matters have consumed our attention, so this eyesore shall remain for now, says Captain Flint. All right, um, two, make a plan. They are clearly in disagreement, says the calendar page. Master Laurel thinks we should prioritize protecting the city by calling our troops home to police the streets. With these transformations occurring, the critters in the city need protection. However, Captain Flint believes we should continue to arm the troops and prepare for war with the insects. If the insects breach the city... They will cause untold destruction and death. As of now, they have agreed to split the troops amongst both causes, which leaves both sides vulnerable. Choose a cause to advocate for and help them mediate this conflict. Okay. If your virtue, Ivy's virtue is 12, that gives us a plus 3 bonus on this roll. Uh... And then it says, either action will require funds to be enacted. Demonstrate your commitment and willingness to sacrifice for the greater good. Choose to contribute funds to help sway the council to your cause. You may choose to do this once once you see the outcome of your roll. Okay, so we don't have to spend money just yet. We can roll <laughs> and then pay for a better result. Okay, now we are either going to choose to... Convince Captain Flint to assign the troops to protect the city, or try to convince Master Laurel to assign the troops to war. I think, um, there's obviously a threat from these feral creatures, uh, with Wraithex taken out of the game, and Seskel, we have Seskel on our team, uh, and he, he worked with Wraithex, and 
You think he would have told us if there... We don't have any intelligence, basically, is what I'm trying to say, that anybody has taken Rafex's place in the in the hierarchy, the insect hierarchy, and Rafex had kind of gone mad and wanted to be all-powerful. That was what was driving everything, so... I would kind of expect that to all fizzle or at least stabilize with Rafex out of the picture, so... I think I'm with, uh... I think I'm with Master Laurel, and I want to try to convince Captain Flint to assign the troops to protect the city. So, that's a charisma roll. Reminder persuasive. We get a... Wow! <laughs> oh, jeez, really? <laughs> um, I don't recall if that's an automatic failure. Uh, but let's see, what would it be if it's not? We get 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6... We would need five more points um, to get the better result here. We can spend 16 amber and get four. So we would just need one more point. Do we have anything that can help us? Yes, we have a glamour stone and we have the baron. We just need one point. So before we spend money, let's see what we can get here. The baron... Can the Baron help us out? I think he's only going to give us one Charisma, but that would get us there. Baron Bartholomew von Crawlington the fourth. If we get a diamond that is greater than or equal to three, we will gain two Charisma for this roll. And we, it's close. It's a heart. Um, so that doesn't do it, but we can use our Glamour Stone. Uh, that's going to add a d4 to the roll, so I'm going to get rid of that. And Ivy actually gets a plus one on this roll, so she gets a four there. Um, we only needed one, right? Oh, so let's see. We had... Th <laughs> what did we get? We got four. Okay, so we have one. Plus two charisma is three. Plus four for the glamour stone is seven. Um, and we want to get 11, so we need four more points. What am I, what am I forgetting? I think we need to spend 16 amber, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, 16 amber. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We had a plus three. We had plus three right from our virtue one plus two charisma is three plus four for the glamour stone is seven plus three for our virtue bonus is ten we only need one more bonus so we can chip in four amber and make this happen so we're down to 67 amber and we get the best result here uh write down protect the city somewhere for future use that is what I wanted, right? <laughs> I mean, so, protect the city. Um, assign troops to war. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. I'm probably wrong, and we're probably going to get overrun by the insect army, and, and that'll be the end. But... That's what I'm doing, and that, my friends, is October 31st. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.